we've got a gradient function and a point that the curve goes through and we're asked to get back to the curve. So this is going to involve some integration. Y is the integral of x squared minus 3x. This is an indefinite integral, no limits in there. Now, when we differentiate x to the n, without going into detail, we bring the power down, minus 1 from the power, we get this. When you integrate, kind of do the opposite. Um, we're going to add 1 to the power first, and then divide by the new power. So two results to be aware of, and I'm going to use them here. So first up, add 1 to the power, divide by it. I like to write it as a fraction, so it's a third x cubed. And here we're going to end up with x squared, because this is essentially x to the 1, divide by 2, so it's going to be 3 over 2. Again, I'd, I'd like to have it as a fraction. You could write it as 3x squared all over 2. But it's just easier, I think, to have it as a fraction. And then we've got this arbitrary constant, because at the moment there's like lots of functions, lots of cubics that have this gradient function, but only one of them that's going to go through a particular point, 6, 20. So to finish this question off, I just need to substitute in 20 is going to equal one third times six cubed minus three over two times six squared plus C. I think I can do all of that right hand side in one go. So one divided by three times six cubed. minus 3 divided by 2 times 6 squared. So we get 18. So 20 equals 18 plus c, c equals 2. And therefore, y equals 1 third x cubed minus 3 over 2 x squared plus 2. And that was part a. On to part b, we're now asked to integrate again, but this time it's a definite integral, just in terms of p. Okay, so again, add 1 to the power, so it's going to become x to the 4, divide by 4, or equivalently times by a quarter, we're going to get 1 over 12. This one, add 1 to the power to get x cubed, divide by 4, 3 or times by a third, the third and the 3 are going to cancel out there, we're going to be left with a half, and then plus 2x, evaluated between 1 and p. Nearly there, substitute in the p, we're just going to have to leave it in terms of that. And then when I put 1 in, I'm not going to write the whole thing, Thing out again I'm going to go with 1 over 12 minus a half plus 2. I'll substitute 1 in. And we've got 19 over 12 so it's going to be minus that remember minus 19 over 12. Good job.